now let's look at this periodic slinky wave. As the wave travels, a ring in the slinky oscillates back and forth about its equilibrium position. For a sinusoidal wave, meaning the shape of the wave is like a sine cosine kind of shape, this motion is like a simple harmonic motion. That's why many physics textbooks cover waves right after simple harmonic motion. If I make a periodic longitudinal wave, a single slinky ring would also oscillate back and forth about its equilibrium position, like a simple harmonic motion. Let's go over some terms for a periodic sinusoidal wave. The high points are called wave crests. The low points, troughs. Just like in simple harmonic motion, the amplitude is the distance between the endpoint and the equilibrium. The length of one complete wave is called a wavelength, and we use Greek letter lambda for it. One wavelength can be from here to here, or here to here. Basically, the distance between two adjacent wave crests is a wavelength. Since this is a periodic event, we can talk about the period and the frequency. Again, the period is the time per cycle, and the frequency is the number of cycles per unit time. The standard unit for period is seconds. The standard unit for frequency is 1 over second, or hertz. The speed of a periodic wave can be found using this equation. The wave speed v equals to the frequency times the wavelength. This means that the distance traveled per second equals to the number of waves per second times the length of each wave. So the distance traveled per second equals to the number of waves per second times the length of each wave. Another special thing about waves is that the speed of a wave mainly depends on the medium. If it's the same type of waves through the same medium, the speed of these waves would be just about the same. For example, I can make different transverse waves, small amplitude, large amplitude, low frequency, high frequency. The speed should be just about the same. I know this is hard for you to tell, but if you take a look at St. Mary's University demonstration through the link at my website, you will be able to see it more clearly. The wave machines they used are kind of like this. I made this with skewers on masking tape, so it does not work very well. I can produce a wave like this. The skewers would rotate up and down about the center line as the wave propagates down the line. In that demonstration video, there are two identical wave machines and you should be able to tell that the two different frequency waves travel at the same speed. Two different frequency waves of the same kind travel through the same medium. Does the wave with higher frequency have a longer, shorter, or the same wavelength compared to the lower frequency wave? Wave speed equals to frequency times lambda. The two waves have the same speed. That means the one with a higher frequency must have a shorter wavelength. So it's the shorter. You will see that the wavelength is indeed shorter for the higher frequency wave in the St. Mary's demo. So the speed of a wave mainly depends on the medium. Another example that exemplifies this is the fact that we can hear a symphony orchestra performing without distortion. Because all the sounds made by the orchestra at different frequencies and amplitudes travel to our ears at the same speed. This means that even when a wave loses energy, it does not slow down, as long as the medium stays the same. For a particle, such as a ball, when it loses energy, it slows down. However, a wave does not slow down when it loses energy. What do you think happens to a wave when it loses energy? Like a simple harmonic oscillator, the total mechanical energy 
of the oscillator is k kinetic energy plus u the potential energy and uh, at the end point there is only potential energy one half k x squared and at the end point the x is the amplitude is the x max or we can use capital a for amplitude which means this will be one half k capital a amplitude squared Therefore, the energy carried by a simple harmonic oscillator or by a wave is proportional to the amplitude squared. So, when a wave loses energy, the amplitude gets smaller. Like this wave, it loses energy to friction on the table, so its amplitude decreases while its speed stays unchanged. One more thing about the speed of wave. If we compare transverse wave speed in this slinky to the longitudinal wave speed in the same slinky under the same condition, we will find that the speeds are not the same because those are two different types of waves. Just like earthquake waves, the longitudinal P waves have different speeds than the transverse S waves, even in the same rocks.